Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. What are we on? Happy Wednesday. So, got done with uh, work this afternoon. Weather's nice, it's warm. We had primer June's uh, Mustang yesterday. So we went ahead and said, so man, weather's good. Cooled off some. Let's shoot it. And man, look at that. It is just gorgeous. Very clean. Came out really nice. She can. So we got a little video here. Check it out of us shooting it. This thing, and it just shot great. So I've been adapting, getting used to this. Anybody that knows me, watch the videos knows. You know, I grew up using touch-up guns kind of scaling back to airbrushes. I still use the touch-up guns, but I do like the airbrushes because it saves material. So awesome stuff, scale finishes here. Look how much paint is still left. I mean, we could probably do about two more of those if we had wanted to. Scale finishes, 1968 Mustang R Highlight Highland Green. Absolutely beautiful color. And we went ahead and went with Jameson's Honey Gloss Clear. Man, this stuff, it shot great. I've used it before. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it out. And um, one, I didn't lay it on as wet as I did here. So June shot some of the bases. You'll see if you watch the rest of the video. He was a little nervous about shooting the clear. I told him, don't worry about it if it messes up. We put in the purple pond, start over. He's like, man, this is looking good. I don't want to start over. So I went ahead and uh, did the clear on it. But I think one of, so the two things I think that made this a lot different than the first time I shot the honey clear. So I put four coats on this. First one, pretty light, just to tack it up. Second one, Fair, fairly mild and then the third and the fourth were pretty wet and I kind of kept looking at it in the sun of course it's going to look gorgeous but I kept walking it over to the shade and trying to get that nice depth out of the clear that I wanted and that's what we got here now our friends at gallery also sent a fan tip over and man what a difference that made I will tell you guys, if you're using one of these and you don't have <clears throat> that fan, I would definitely jump over there and get that. It's the fan pattern air cap. I would jump over and get that thing. Man, did it make a difference in how this all laid out and shot from the base to the clear, everything. I mean, you can see that's just gorgeous. And that's not even a 2K clear on there. So as it dries, you know, it'll probably um, settle in might lose a little bit of that but i think overall it's going to look really good considering you know here's the rest of what june's got here you know painted in the mags to give them that kind of old school look got the interior dressed up a little bit just a little paint everything was box stock we'll probably add a different air cleaner put the decals on the battery everything else he's been having a blast which is very cool that that's you know all i could hope for so i'm not going to keep this going real long here because like i say we got some clips here from shooting the base and then the clear uh june spray and then myself so i'm going to go ahead and roll into that but again uh gallery scale finishes man excellent products guys links are in the description Check them out if you're ordering scale finishes left coast 10. That'll get you 10% off and let it let him know. You know, you saw it over here. Galleria, there's a link you can use as well that'll take you right to her to them. Let them know you, you know, that you saw it from my channel. So hope everybody's had a uh, good Wednesday. Hope you're getting ready for a good fourth. We'll be back in the morning. We'll try to get the uh, throwback Thursday up early. Then we might have something else going, you know, some other video during the 4th. We'll be out here cleaning up, 
doing some work in the shop shed and uh, hopefully some building as well some work on some of our group builds so all right guys i'm gonna jump into our spraying so enjoy check it out let me know if you have any questions as always emails left coast model car builds at gmail.com feel free to shoot any questions there or drop them in the comment box all right everybody check out the painting here and have have a good day what's up everybody paul june here left coast working on his mustang which has been primered yesterday we believe it's all ready to go for color we got our scale finishes we got highland green here 1968 mustang color we're using our gallery airbrush they were kind enough to send us the nice fan cap here we're going to try that out for the first time looks really cool we're going to see how this thing goes so we're going to get some get the first coat down and we'll see what you think all right so we got our first coat on nice and light just getting the primer covered looking pretty good we're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes then come back with our next coat Distance. Hello. so get your underside your name for these lower edges okay a little a little further away remember we can always put more but if we run it we're stuck we're cleaning okay feel the paint before you start okay Nice and easy, nice and even. start covering it from right in here you're gonna work that back piece all right but so we're gonna do is nice even passes We want to try to keep it vertical, not spraying at an angle, right? side coming up so I want you to take your time and do nice smooth passes look at the corners and just... yep just start don't, don't get too close don't want to bang it but flip it all the way so you get it there you go now start at one end come all the way across okay now turn it a little tilt it there you go now back the other way okay Tilt it. No, no, no. Pick back up where you were. Right there. Okay, a little faster as you pass. Tilt it a little, a little more. There you go. There. Now tilt it so you're getting the top of the fence. Okay. Alright, now tilt it. Be careful so you don't bump it, right? Okay, now you're going to come across. Keep it. You're going to come across this top, but you want to get the top of the fender, not the center. Remember, you're, you're working from this edge. Okay? Start. Don't start in the middle. Remember, side to side. You start. Okay, look. You said to start right here. No. Listen. Real simple, but look. Okay. Set down for a second. This is the easiest way to explain. So we went like this, right? 
now we want to get this area and work here. You want to keep everything consistent. You don't want to get like this, this. You want to go here, here. Now we want to get up here. And then we want to get up here and go this way. You don't want to start like this, right? So we did say from here down. So now we're going to come right here like this. Then like this and then like that. You can move this or you can move the airbrush, okay? So focus, you can either start, start like right here, come across, then here, and then here, and there, okay? So start right in there. There you go. Nice and smooth. Okay. So let me show you one thing though. If you're still, hold this. Let's try it. And it'll take some getting used to it. Practicing, but look. So where you got here, and then you came down the center, right? You want to come here, here, here. See how we did that for the coverage? Then we're just going to come here. And even. Oops, so. okay. All right, no. So the hood, you're gonna do the same way. I want you to hit your your edges like this, like that. Then you're gonna come across this. You're gonna come here, here. Just nice and even, okay? What you're going to learn is spray patterns with the different equipment you're using. So right now, go ahead and get those edges. Good. Good. No. You want to get that back edge right back there. Okay. Now keep going right across. Just watch your pattern. Watch how the paint's laying down. So you come nice and even, okay? Go across it this way, but don't. What you're doing is you're kind of coming like a Z. Or you want to come straight and then adjust a little bit. It's like when we mow the lawn. You want this pass and then you want this one to just go over the edge of that one the edge of that one so you're getting it nice and even okay so watch the fan spray start here watch go pull it okay. easy easy okay now go across the front turn it turn it there you go yeah go across it okay Stop. Get too close. All right, let's see. Let's trade real quick. Get in there. It's better. So look at. So as you're doing this, Pretty good. All right. What's up, yeah. All right, here we are with our last coat. Remember, not too close, not too far. And come this way back a little bit so we're not. There we go. Okay, a little quicker as you go across. There you go. A little, little quicker, a little further away. Okay. Turn it and come right there. Okay, you keep getting there. You go a little. There you go. Cross the top. Okay, keep going. Okay, turn it. You want to be a little quicker. You want lay. You don't want to lay it on quite as heavy. Okay, there you go. Nice. 
There you go, perfect. Can I turn it? There you go. Okay. Easy. A little further. There you go. Okay. All right. Now, spray, let's turn it so you can spray the front. There you go. Always start with, there you go. Up, oh, turn it. There. Okay, but do the same in the back. Okay, these start. There you go. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do our hood now. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Get your edges and then cross the top. See what we got here. Hold that, bud. So the base looks really good. That nice and even. Now matches nice. Awesome. So I got to tell you guys that June did a heck of a job. That's his first time spraying with the brush. And the little fan cap is really nice. I can tell you it, for doing the model cars or at least the bodies, that made a huge difference in how that covered. You know, that's a swallowtail from Gallery and that's their fan cap they sent. Outstanding, really good. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean the brush up, get our clear. And we're gonna get this ready and hopefully it clear lays out good so we'll be right back all right so the airbrush is cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and go with some scale finishes honey clear i think that'll be a good one for june to start with i don't want to go straight to a 2k i think the honey clear would be a little more forgiving to work with so we're gonna shoot that i've used it before on the mustang i did and it seemed to work really well so we're gonna go with that and see what we can do all right so we're gonna start out are clear spraying same idea first coat is just gonna be a nice easy mist coat nothing too heavy we're just gonna give it something to stick to Body's gonna be the same way as when we painted. tack off for about five to ten minutes and we'll come back with our second all right so Jim's a little leery of spray, spraying the clear I don't you know don't blame him we'll keep chipping away so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and I'll tell you that fan tip man does that make a difference on there so let's go ahead and get our second coat down Yeah, that's 
really come into life. Nice and clean too. All right, we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the body. What do you think? Looking pretty sharp, it's clean. We're gonna let that tack up, get a third coat, and that may be all. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this with our third coat. Heavier coat laid out nice. We're gonna see how that one tacks up. really coming to life there with that third coat you see we put it on definitely much heavier we got those first two coats on to help really help it tack up and get a little more on the deck lid there we want it nice and wet nice great products by scale finishes the gallery airbrush is doing an excellent job laying it out as you can see all right we're gonna let this tack up see if we're gonna need a fourth coat or not it's actually laid out really clean really happy with this so we'll see if we're gonna do a fourth coat or not
guy's looking sharp. I think. So here's a video of it out here in the sun. You see just absolutely gorgeous color. Great clear. That's both products by Jameston over there. Scale finishes. Absolutely wonderful products. And our gallery airbrush just shot everything beautifully. Absolutely love it. All right, I will take a look inside here for you guys. So even in here, you know, outside of the sun, man, you can see how nice that color is, the clear, how nice it laid out. I mean, just absolutely stunning very clean beautiful job yeah great materials great airbrush outstanding i'm going to clean up we'll be back in a little bit